I just can't stop buying gear for setups. This time I have a motorized standing desk, a very high-tech webcam, a very cool macro pad, the most reviewed microphone kit on Amazon, along with the most popular wireless mouse. However, what I am most excited about is this electric standing desk. Now for years I have used my IKEA standing desk. I've built lots of setups on that one. And to be fair, I really love that desk. However, I see lots of people on YouTube using flexi spot desks. I wanted to see if this flexi spot desk is as good as my IKEA desk or better. I send them a message, ask them to send me a desk. If it turns out to be a bad desk, I am absolutely gonna trash it. But the instructions are great. I feel like the material is very heavy and very high quality. This here is what we will use to make it go up and down and then set presets and stuff. Now, so far, the assembling of the desk is very easy. Just like the sponsor of this video makes it very easy to customize your stream. Owned.tv offers beautiful animated overlays that will make your stream look better in no time. Whether you want a Christmas theme for the coming holidays, an officially licensed Call of Duty Warzone theme, or any other style from their huge library of completely animated overlay packs, they have it all and they are optimized for Twitch and YouTube streaming. Besides overlays, their best-selling services are the two emote makers which will let you create static or animated emotes for your stream. If you want to get your own graphics, go to owned.gg slash tvn or click the link on top of my description and use my code TVN at checkout for 50% of the price. Now, assembling this desk went much quicker than expected. While well, assembling the bottom part, that is, I do have some concerns for the top of the desk. Now, the reason for that is that this desk is coming in two parts. It's gonna be a very wide desk, so this is obviously not the whole thing. What I hope is that there's not gonna be a line right in the middle of the desk. Let's check it out. Oh, that's a good thing. I see two small parts. Now, I think this means that this will be for on the side and that there will be one big piece for in the middle. That would be absolutely great. Now, the desk seems to be pretty thick too. Not the cheap very flat plank and then this will be the plank for in the middle this is the exact same size as my ikea desk so it's gonna be a perfect comparison since this is gonna be a gaming and streaming setup i feel like the lines are gonna add a lot of texture to the setup now this could also be me just hoping they won't annoy me i guess we'll have to see when we add the gear so when you loosen these screws in the middle you can extend the legs because i saw on the website that there are lots of options in terms of tabletops like the depth the width then the type of legs and it's really important i also asked them for for this this is a pc mount and it will be coming right here under the desk so the pc will go up and down with the desk this looks pretty clean it's also very sturdy okay so i just connected the desk to the legs there are four of these plates that come with the desk and these hold the middle part and then the two parts on the side together there is a cable management on the bottom for all the cables that are from the desk itself and i also connected the remote on the side of the desk now i whoa this is a heavy desk Whoa. That is not light. Now I really want to know what the top looks like. You saw it before me. Wow, look at this. That's not bad at all, but I'm gonna be honest, the gap here in the middle is pretty big. I also feel like the borders aren't that finished. Maybe you'll get what I mean with this close-up here. There's white on the sides. By the way, I want to be absolutely clear. From afar or even from a medium distance, you can't really notice it. So maybe this is pretty normal for this type of plank. The tabletop is definitely of decent quality, but it doesn't really give a premium feeling. And when I compare the quality of the top of the desk to the IKEA desk that I've been using for years, the points for a premium look of the top of the desk definitely go to the IKEA one. But do not be mistaken, as you can see, this is definitely a good looking desk. The legs look great, they have an awesome aesthetic. With this setup we are building, I really focused on making a complete package perfect for streaming, managing your stream, making sure it looks clean. Part of that was making sure that the monitors on the side were the perfect fit. Since I'm gonna use three monitors in this setup, one in the middle and then two vertical ones on the side. The monitors for the side didn't need to have that much in terms of refresh rate or color accuracy, all that stuff, because the only thing this is gonna be used for is to put programs on, like Discord or an audio mixer or your OBS Studio Preview, all that kind of stuff. So these monitors are from a pretty budget-friendly brand. Now, I don't really know how to pronounce the name. Innocent, Inukin, I don't know. Literally, the only thing I was looking for with these monitors for the sides were a resolution. Our main monitor is gonna be 1440p, high refresh rate, perfect for gaming. And because of that, I needed 1440p monitors for the sides too. However, before installing them, I wanna test how high this desk goes. And if it can carry me, press on this button and then see if it can tilt me, can lift me. My English is getting really, really bad. Now, it seems like it just keeps going. Let's see, okay. Oh, this is going pretty high. <laughs> 
I can touch my ceiling. This is almost too high to jump off. <laughs> I'm scared it's gonna fall over. So I'm gonna let it go down and then safely get off this desk. Now, let's get off because we can see the height of the desk. You can see the amount of centimeters. I think it's in centimeters. Yeah, so this should be one meter. Let's see how tall I am because I want to prove that I'm six foot five. Now, I think this proves that I'm not six foot five because imagine working like this. As my monitor arm, I want to use the one from my main setup. First of all, because it's an awesome monitor arm. Cable management of this arm is awesome. Okay, so the two arms on the side are completely height adjustable. You don't see this with all of the arms, so we're going to be able to perfectly adjust these vertical ones. Now, I did choose 24 inch monitors for on the sides for the vertical ones and then a 27 inch monitor for in the middle. The main reason for that is when you put a monitor vertically like this one it obviously takes up a lot of space and sometimes a vertical 27 inch one that is just too big i'll show you the difference this here is another 27 inch one i'll just put it on the other side and as you can see when i hold it on the same height this is actually huge it is possible that i'm gonna change them later because it is possible that i'm gonna keep this as my main setup i mean look at this whole setup the black desk the black screens some cool peripherals it's gonna look absolutely great now since i built so many setups i've used a lot of monitor arms in the past and this type of monitor arm always impresses me it's usually the sturdiest out of most ones it looks the best and it also has the best system to customize the height of the monitor as you can see you can easily make this look pretty much perfect so i absolutely recommend this system i will link a bunch of these types of arms in the description for one two three monitors now most of you really like it when i unbox a 60 percent keyboard that looks like a custom keyboard or is a custom custom keyboard. However, every time I use a 60% keyboard in a setup I built for the channel, I've never been able to use a 60% keyboard for more than 30 minutes. In case you don't know what a 60% keyboard is, this is a picture of it. Basically, it kind of looks like this keyboard, but then with the sides cut off. And what this does is removing your numpad. And then in some cases, you even need to use shift in order to use the arrows. And I just can't work with that. As you can see, they give a bunch of extra switches. 2.5 gigahertz wireless connection. This is a wire wireless one i completely forgot that oh look at this it comes with a wireless usb and there is a switch on the bottom you can switch between 2.5 gigahertz this will allow you to use the usb with it and then you can also switch it to the other side and this is to use bluetooth it already turns on we can already see the rgb the price of this keyboard was 65 dollars which is not a lot for a keyboard but it's also more than like a standard keyboard that you buy just for the function now this keyboard is gonna fit absolutely perfectly in the setup usually i don't really like logos on products but with this one it kind of looks good the overall keyboard is very aesthetically pleasing and if this turns out to be good to type on while using the pc i'm gonna test this later we need to install the pc first on this hanger here under the desk again i'm really excited about this now i'm really excited about some other stuff for example this macro keyboard this wireless mouse which is gonna fit perfectly on this pretty much cable setup and this microphone here is one of the most popular ones on amazon people keep asking me to review it so i'm finally gonna do it However, I want to unbox this webcam first. I want to put it on the setup. We're not going to test it yet. These guys from Insta360 helped me to sponsor this video. And the best part is that I did contact them myself because I saw a lot of reviews about this webcam on YouTube. One of them was from Random Frank P. And the quality of this webcam was really impressive. And I thought this webcam would be an extremely awesome addition to this setup because it's a standing desk one. And I will get into why later. Now, this is a 4K auto tracking webcam, which is going to be awesome. As you can see, it can completely track you around your room or in front of your setup it can also be vertically which is one of the reasons why it's awesome for this setup we're gonna check out this webcam more in depth later in the video when i turn on the pc which is what i'm gonna focus on for now i'm really excited so it's finally time to almost add the pc to the setup for that we're also gonna need some cable management because there's gonna be a lot of cables being added from all the screens all the way down to the pc it's all gonna be under the desk i look for a non-destructive cable management method and with that i mean Mean cable management trays that you don't need to screw in the bottom of the desk because this option here works with clamps you have to assemble it yourself but it's very easy you basically have the cable tray then the clamp and then a few screws to put it together so then from the back of the desk you can just shove it on and i was a bit afraid that this was gonna be too visible from the front like with this hanging on top of the desk i did fear that it was gonna clutter the desk i feel like it's fine overall the clamps are definitely noticeable by the way they are not perfectly aligned i need to fix this but as you can see 
see there are only two clamps for each of them and they're not gonna mess up this setup. So then it was time to attach the PC mount to the bottom of the desk. According to the manual, I first had to drill holes in the desk, so I measured the thickness of the plank and then I attached something to my drill in order to make sure that I didn't drill through the desk. So after drilling four holes in the desk while having a vacuum in my other hand to make sure the wood coming out of the plank wasn't falling all over my carpet, I could finally screw in the PC mount and then I noticed that I had drilled my holes wrongly so I could only screw in two of the screws after which I had to drill two extra holes in order to screw in those screws. Now it is time to connect the PC to the stand. Well it's more of a mount instead of a stand but I already took a look at this and it seems like the width of the mount is more aimed at office PCs instead of gaming PCs because this thing here which is supposed to hold the PC from this side is not coming past the case to then tighten up. So as you can see it definitely does hold this case but look at at this I really had to push this aside that's not really what you're meant to do and I actually wanted to use this case which is in storage for now however it was too thick and that's the case with pretty much all cases I have this is one of the most popular wireless mice on Amazon. It is the Logitech G305. It's extremely popular. It's also not that light, which I kind of like. Well, at least if I'm comparing it to the Razer Viper Ultimate. Now, when I'm holding them, it's not that big of a difference. With this one, it feels like there's kind of weight to the back here. Maybe they added some weight and that's where it's positioned. But with this mouse, the Razer Viper Ultimate, or for example, with this one, the Glorious Modulo Wireless, with these two mice, there's pretty much no weight, so you can't really feel where they put it let me know in the comments by the way which of these three wireless mice would you choose look at this the setup looks awesome already but a little change in plans as you can see i did switch up the pc the reason is that this pc is pretty crappy and i'm not even sure if the graphics card can handle three screens now i just connected all the cables for the monitors etc and i really want to check out this webcam first i want to see the quality then we're going to install the led panels i did buy two of them they seem to be excellent replacements for the elgato key lights which which are probably $70 more expensive than these ones. So I want to test if they are a good replacement. And look at this. This looks really good. Now, I'm pretty sure they said it was a 4K camera. So <laughs> we can even switch it to 4K. It was at 1080p. Now it's even more crisp. And so if I keep my hand like this, the webcam should recognize me. As you can see, it just pinged blue. And so now the webcam should be tracking me. And as you can see, it is. And the tracking is pretty quick. It has three axis tracking, so it should track me to the bottom and then to the top and to the side. So this is overhead mode. And this is for when you use a desk arm that's right here. Then you can go to that mode and then the webcam will always be aiming down. So as you can see, I'm gonna take it off the stand and no matter how I move it, it's always aiming down to the desk and so the last mode desk view mode i'm gonna click it and look at this now i didn't position the camera correctly here but look on the screen i can readjust it by dragging on the screen here and so this mode makes it look like the webcam is right here above the desk aiming down however it is on my screen and it's just using an algorithm to make it look like this and this could be fun for streamers for example if you want to add your mouse movements on the stream so let's say you're streaming a game like fortnite for example and you're building really quick and you want to show people then you can absolutely add this to your stream now something you will notice is that the webcam is going to zoom in as I move further away. And what I really wanted to show you is, as you can see now, it just keeps me in the frame like this. If I go further away, you will see that the background is narrowing. And the reason is that there's a setting that lets you tell the webcam how you wanna be framed. So as you can see here under more settings, we have AI zoom and you can choose between your head, your half body or your whole body. So if I click on half body, you will see that if I move further away, it will just keep the half of my body in the frame. It will not zoom in more. And that's actually pretty cool. Now to unbox the lights, I am going to film myself with this webcam i did put it in the middle of my room so i'm gonna go over here and as i said i have two of these led panels now it looks like the quality of this webcam looking on my screen here is actually really good i do get why people were so impressed by it now apparently the lights come with a remote by the way another awesome feature of this webcam i can do this right here and then if i move up i'm gonna look at the screen yep it zooms in until i stop and then it just stops and if i move down it will zoom out now next we get a clamp for on the desk then the arm which will extend that's pretty decent and then whoa that's a pretty big led panel i think this is the biggest panel i own so far look at it next to my face it's actually pretty big as you can see it's gonna be more wide than the vertical monitor and i think the price of this was around 130 dollars now the elgato key lights are about 200 each so i'm gonna put this on the side for a second because i want to 
install the lights. Now, I could easily do a setup building stream with this webcam, and to be honest, I would really like it. So maybe I need to think about that. If you would watch those streams, let me know in the comments. So I'm going to attach the light on top of it. You probably won't be able to see it, and I don't think the stand goes higher. For now, I'm gonna have to lower these vertical monitors. I'm gonna plug this into the LED panel, and apparently you can add batteries to the back. I do use those batteries here in my studio. I can show you. So this here is a monitor that shows me what I'm filming. On the back, I do have a giant battery, and I think we will be able to add that battery to this light. And then just plug it in. Let's try to put it on and see if it works. Okay, so you do need two batteries. I will link this type of battery in the description if you buy these. The light will run for a very long time and you can charge it with the charger like this. This can also hold two batteries. It comes with the batteries. And so I feel like this is gonna be an awesome light. Now let's check out the remote because this is yellow light. You will maybe see it on my face. And in order to look good on stream or on video, you do need white light. And so now with the remote, let me move to here so you can also see it. I can adjust the brightness. So this is zero and then I'm gonna keep turning it up. This is 100 and this is very bright. You can also see it on my face now. It is much more bright than the other lights in my room. And by clicking on the middle, button you can change the color temperature so this is gonna be very very yellow and then the whole other side is gonna be extremely white or blue i'm gonna install the other light on my own and then we're gonna check out the result and i mean look at this the quality is extremely crisp now here in the software as you can see i can move to this side here and then i can click on the plus icon now this will be a preset position so if i move to the other side and then i click on position three you will see that the webcam immediately moves there and now it's just locked into place until I link it again by doing this here and then it will link and then now I can just walk around again. Now in the image settings, you can change a bunch of things like the auto exposure. You can choose your desired brightness. You can change the white balance here and then a bunch of normal options. Now under more settings, you can go to manual focus and as you can see, then you can choose it manually. And the focus on this webcam is actually doing something because as you can see, it will now focus on the mouse. It's extremely high quality. Now, very exciting you will see something here streamer mode if you enable this in OBS studio which is recording at the moment I can add a video capture device I can choose the webcam here now instead of 4k here I can go to 1080p because then we will be able to select 60 FPS under resolution I can choose a vertical one and if I click on that then the camera will actually flip that's pretty awesome and you can use this to do TikTok live streams or record vertical videos or what some people like to do is use a webcam aspect ratio like this here for on the stream because it takes up less space and then this way they can be on the side. The beautiful thing is that the webcam will keep tracking me. So because of this aspect ratio, it would be very easy to move out of the frame, right? However, even if I'm sitting at my desk here and then I'm leaning to the side, the webcam will just keep me in the frame. Now, what should we install next? I'm really looking forward to this microphone here, but let's do this here and then the macro device first. I am 100% sure that most of you aren't gonna know what this product is. I didn't know it myself until recently and it's perfect for the standing desk setup and probably for other setups too in some cases. Now this here is pretty simple. It's just a headphone clamp or well, a headphone hanger with a clamp. And look at this, it's actually pretty clean. You can just close it like this. And then if you need it, you open it and you just hang it like that. Now the desk here also comes with an application. This application tries to connect to the desk through Bluetooth. It says no device is found. However, everything works manually and it's pretty simple. You can make it go up with this button down here and then you can also see the height in centimeters then if you want to save this as preset position one you click right here and then you click on one and then now if i make it go here for example and i click on one it will automatically go to this position if you have children and you don't want them to use the desk you keep pressing on this button here until it says locked and then now everything you try to do will give you a ping it won't do anything until you keep pressing this and then it will just unlock now this here is the macro device i was talking about there is a program that should turn this into a stream deck well kind of a stream deck i've used that program in a previous video if i'm not wrong the name was noobs commander the original program has another name but noobs commander was like a graphical interface in order to set up everything. It was made by a creator called Nutty. If you look up stuff for OBS, you will know him. And oh, listen to this clicks. But the beauty of that program I'm talking about for the macro device is that usually when you use a macro device like this, which is basically just a numpad, if you add functions to these keys, it will interfere with your keyboard in some way. However, there is a workflow to make this a completely separate macro device. I will link both my video where I kind of use it and then Nutty's video, which is actually what I followed. It's a tutorial and that will allow you to do some amazing stuff with this macro device. So this is the headset I was talking about. And I believe that this was around 50 or $60, which is not a lot 
for a wireless headset and the quality of this was absolutely decent. There was definitely some bass. It also feels very light on my head, which is a big plus. I felt like this was a great addition to this setup. You can just hang it over here. It comes with this USB here. Now it is pretty big, but I don't really mind. This is something they call a cable vertebrae or vertebrae. I'm not sure. I'm really curious how many of you did know what this is. Let me know in the comments. So what this is for is for cable management on a standing desk. Usually you need to screw this to the desk. However, I don't want to destroy it. So I'm going to use double sided tape. Then I'm going to attach it to the desk. And now I have two cables that I need to plug into an outlet. But if I do it like this, they're going to hang loose. And I can't really connect them through these legs here because the legs are going to extend and contract. So I can push the cable all the way through. Now, this is a very bad example because I used the power cord that's not long enough. But I just want to show you this technique because look what happens when I make this desk go up. If you have perfect cable management and this is the only thing going down or up, of course, then this looks absolutely clean and it's a great solution. This microphone, I've mentioned it a bunch of times already. Already. This is indeed one of the best selling microphones and one of the best looking microphone kits on Amazon. And with kits, I mean this kind of stuff where you get one of these cheap microphone arms, then a pop filter, another pop filter, a shock mount, a mic, and then of course the USB cable. Now I have to say already, this is one of the most premium microphone kits I found on Amazon. At least one of the kits of these cheaper brands. I think the price was about $50. You can check it in the description. The USB cable that comes with it is very long, which is awesome for cable management. Let's plug it in. And I believe we can do a final test of the microphone, the webcam, the lights, everything together. So I'm going to add the microphone to OBS so we can test it. By the way, if you want to start streaming on OBS, my main viewers will know this, but I do have a Skillshare course. You can watch it for free. There is a link in the description that gives you one month for free. And in that course, I teach you how to start from zero in OBS and I set up everything part by part until you have a fully working stream with overlays, alerts, widgets, all that stuff. By the way, if you want to check out this webcam i will link it in the description if you want to see more build videos you can click right there and probably that video will be pretty interesting for you now i did some testing with this microphone and it seems like it keeps speaking if you talk too loud i changed the intensity to 20 percent and still if i talk loud you will see that it kind of peaks and there's no real way of fixing it thanks a lot for watching and i hope to see you in one of those videos have a nice day